IVC, stale old gate 433. Um, back to do a another video. This is a thread response video to a thread that um, Richard McCook has just um, just started um, around spelling out your channel name using your favourite album titles. Um, so uh, I will I will do that. Um, I'm going to follow most of the rules. Um, what I'm going to try and do, I'm trying not to repeat um, uh, showing the same albums over and again. So these won't probably be the absolute favourites where I've already shown that recently. Um, but there'll be strong albums that um, that uh, begin with that letter. Um, so Gate 433. So um, let's get on with it. Um, so so and some of these letters I did struggle with. Give us give myself those rules. I did struggle with some of the letters. So. First up, G, um, and I've gone with this, Goodbye Yellow Bit Road by Elton John. So this is possibly my favourite. This and Captain Fantastic kind of vie for being my favourite Elton John album. Um, this is an album that really chimes with me because, um, I think I've said in previous videos, my, it, it, as a kind of kid of around 10 when I started getting into music, um, my, my parents only had a handful of records that I would choose to play. This was one of them. Um, so um, I, I kind of, I don't need to open, I know I can picture the inside of this trifold sleeve um, and I kind of already know what song follows what song on this instinctively, even though I probably haven't played this album for 10 years, maybe less, but you know, I haven't played this album for a long time. Uh, all the way through but yeah I know it off by heart from from a 10 year old playing it on repeat so that's G so that kind of um, yeah one out over other albums I've already already shown um, A so so there were some strong albums here that I've already shown um, so Richard showed Abbey Road um, that would have been up there um, with, with me as well so I've gone with again possibly my favorite Kinks album um, this one vies with um, uh, Village Green Preservation Society as my favourite Kinks album. But yeah, Arthur, or to give it its full title, Arthur or the Decline and Fall of the British Empire. This is a fantastically strong album. You know, kicks off with Victoria, which is a real, you know, which just kicks the album off really well. And then it's a bit of a concept album, so it's got, um, you know, it's got a good theme through it and, and the songs are say strong all the way through it's an album actually that I've grown to 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 love more um, it wasn't instantly a hit with me um, but uh, I think that period of kinks um, sort of post the um, although I like their early stuff and some of their early singles I think that period from the sort of village green preservation society maybe maybe something else onwards um, through to Muswell Hillbillies was really strong so that's my second choice. So that's the A in gatefold. T, um, again, I've shown a lot of T's that are um, up there. So I've gone with um, Goldfrap. I, I know I showed a Goldfrap album recently, but um, this is Tales of Us by Goldfrap, which was a, a sort of bit of a comeback for me. Um, she put this out, when was it? 2013, so still seven years ago. Um, so this is very much in the vein of Felt Mountain, I think, the very dark, um, all the tracks are um, names um, um, or single, certainly single, single word um, title tracks, often names, um, and it's, so it's quite a dark, and I, I prefer the darker gold frap to the dancier poppy gold frap, so this, I'm sorry, I've not been, I've not been showing the Gatefold. I think it's because I'm I'm sitting back because I've got the records on my lap, um, which I'm now regretting because it's really hot today and they're starting to sweat a bit. So I shall move up here. I don't want to. I don't want to give you a preview. Right. Anyway, enough of that. Um, what we're we on to now? E. So um, again, there's a few E's I've shown, but I've gone with um, one. Again, this is an album that I haven't played recently. Um, but it's an album I've played a lot. Um, I don't know how to. Um, this is, a, and I've got a question on this. So this is um, 
Jimi Hendrix Electric Ladyland. This is a very, very early Track Records UK press. It's not the very, very first, very, very expensive one with the blue lettering, but it's got the white lettering and it's got the, um, it's got the that cover. Um, it's in fantastic condition. I got it for obviously a pound at a boot sale. But the question I've got is, it's like this. For, so for me, it's stored like this. So there's no, there's no um, writing on the in, inner or outer um, spine. Um, and so what I don't know is whether, because I wasn't around, whether it came like this in the shops or the person who I got this off of, you know, bent it round the wrong way. Um, so they didn't want this on display bent it round the wrong way and it's kind of over 40 or 50 years it's ended up like that because I can't bend it back um, you know if I, I'll crack the spine if I try and reverse flip it um, so I don't know whether that's how it came back in the day or actually say it's been developed like that so there's a question a question for the VC where were we? So that's gate of gatefold done. So we're into the F now. Um, so again, a lot of Fs I've already F in shown. So um, I've gone with Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire Funeral. So this was the debut album by the Canadian band Arcade Fire. This is a really great indie rock album really driving really good fun um as were you know the, well the, their first three albums i've kind of followed i have kind of tailed off a bit then um and it's um it's glastonbury weekend this weekend and i do yeah and they're showing on the in the bbc in the uk they're showing different um different sets um from different artists and i'm and i'll and i will probably um you know check a few out but I think Arcade Fire, I, I kind of remember, they did a really good set um, when they played Glastonbury or headlined Glastonbury a few years ago. So I'll, I'll seek that out um, over this weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, Arcade Fire and Funeral is, a, is my F. Um, so O, so again, that would have been O Mercy um, by Bob Dylan, but I've shown that a hundred times in my... 20 videos or whatever so I've gone with um, Radiohead's OK Computer this is an album 97 when it came out I played it to death um, you know again another album this is the triple reissue but um, I had the CD of it when it came out and played it a lot um, in the car and um, uh, you know it became a, a quite a firm favorite with the family um, or certainly me and my wife anyway I don't think the kids were that bothered at that age um, so um, yeah um, good album uh, again I haven't played it well I have played it I played it on a kind of on my commute it's a good kind of album to have on the headphones um, when you're commuting um, and it always stands up every time I play it um, so uh, L so again it would have been something like London Calling or like an old fashioned waltz by Sandy Denny, but I've showed them. So I've gone for um, an album that was a, if you like, a darling of 2013 um, and a strong album in the VC and um, the kind of, you know, the, the album charts or end of year charts. Um, this is War on Drugs and Lost in a Dream. So this is um, a kind of really strong indie. How do I describe it? It's got a melancholy sort of lilt tone to it with some driving rhythms, the, the, the kind of songs build and then they've got normally got a really good beat that kind of comes in, um, yet they seem to have a melancholy sort of tone to them. Um, and they're sort of a lot, quite a lot of quite long songs on here, you know, six, eight minute songs, um, but really strong album, double album. Um, really enjoy it and the, and the follow-up was good as well so uh, that's War on Drugs Lost in Dream there's my L D oh that was tough so that would have been Dusty in Memphis Dark Side of the Moon um, or Kate Bush the Dreaming none of them so uh, um, so where have I gone with that so I've gone with and this has been shown recently on the in the VC quite a lot um, 
because there was a reissue series of these um, Don Rendell, Ian Carr um, jazz albums, but this is a fantastic, beautiful um, jazz, UK jazz album, Dusk Fire. So um, these were reissued on Jazzman Records uh, last year or the year before. They did a box set which sold out really quickly. Um, I was really annoyed I missed out on it. I pre-ordered it with a seller that I didn't realise was like a reseller. So I bought it from them ages before it came out rather than buying it from Jasmine Records themselves to save about £3 on postage or something like that. And um, uh, and they kind of just said, oh no, I can't, couldn't get any. They all sold out. And I said, you mean you didn't actually have any stock? No, no, I just kind of, you know, so sorry, cancel your order. Um, and by then they'd already gone on, you know, sold out on Jasmine Records. So um, luckily they reissued them individually um, and I managed to get them all individually the five the five i think it's five albums um but uh, yeah this is my favorite by far dusk fire great album so we're now we're on to 33 so um you'll be thankful to know i haven't gone t-h-i-r-t-y-t-h-r-e-e -E, um to do this um i've gone uh the um easy route so the first three of the 33 is Scott 3, um, so again, all Scott's solo albums up to, well, all Scott's solo albums, certainly his first four are, are fantastic, and then um, it's, um, they're all, the rest are all good, but you have to be um, selective or in the mood, um, particularly the later ones, which uh, are probably a bit too out there for me, um, but yeah, Scott 3 again these these are great albums for me to listen to on the headphones on the commute there's um a lot of scott's melancholy a lot of cinematic um songs obviously he's covering a lot of jack brell um songs um in his in scott walker style although kind of imitating the jack brell style um so um yeah really good really good and then the other three again probably not a surprise Led Zeppelin 3, so this is an original with the with the moving wheel, I'm not going to move it. Um, uh, in the, what is it? You know, the, the plum and or, orange in a sleeve in really nice condition. It's, um, it's annoyingly got a one pop. Um, on the Since I've Been Loving You, which is my favourite song on the album. So, um, uh, but apart from that, it's lovely. Um, so that's it. I won't uh, ramble on anymore. So um, thanks for the, the thread. I've not made um, videos for a while. I've been really busy at work um, or with work, at home with work. Um, so I've not had the chance really, but um, hopefully that's easing off um, uh, this now this week. I've got a day off today. Um, so I may make some more videos and I'll see what threads are going. Um, but yeah, thanks Richard. Cheers. Bye.